I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. So I'm gonna be sharing my weekly meal prep for sustainable weight loss. And I'm meal prepping tacos because they're super tasty, super filling. You cook and get it all ready once and then you have tacos for the whole week. Plus, they're family friendly, so you don't have to prep multiple meals for all your family members. Stay tuned because I'm throwing in a bonus dessert recipe at the end of this vid, so don't go nowhere, cutie. This is what you're gonna need. I'll start back here. This is the sides that I'm gonna serve with the tacos. So big bag of baby carrots. This is all from Costco here. Big bag of celery stalks and um, a bottle of ranch dressing. This is regular, but I like the Hidden Valley because it's lower calories than most regular ranch dressing. For two tablespoons, it's 120 cals, and I won't be using that much. We need two heads of iceberg lettuce, some large soft tortillas. These are the Ancient Grains Tortillas by Dempster's. We get those at Costco. Some green onion, two to three medium tomatoes, low sodium taco seasoning. This is from Walmart and I'm using two because I bought this big bank of beef, beef from <laughs> Costco. It's lean ground beef. It is 3.67 kilograms. You can just buy as much lean ground beef as you want. Sass and I like buying the big one because what we do is we're gonna cook it all today with the taco seasoning and we're gonna freeze what we don't use for future use. And that allows us for even more sustainable weight loss because we have weeks where we don't have to cook our beef, it's already done for us. Then some cheese. This is a quarter of the big block of medium cheddar cheese from Costco. And I have a fine cheese grater. I like finely grating my cheese because it makes me feel like I get more per serving. And I will show you exactly how I measure everything out to put the taco together later. We need a can of sliced black olives. I love olives. For the toppings, uh, we're gonna use this 1%. It's really funny because it says fat-free sour cream, but then it says 1%. So just the lowest fat sour cream you can find. This is great value. Some big jars of salsa. We chose the hot salsa, thick and chunky from great value. We have decided to use some of these hot peppers to put on ours as well. These strawberries, I'm gonna be cleaning and putting them in a container because they're gonna be served with the experimental dessert. So we'll get that already. What we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat a big pot, like one that you use like for spaghetti or whatever, big pot. We spray it with cooking spray. We're gonna preheat it on medium high and we're gonna cook the beef with the taco seasoning. And while we do that, we'll start chopping everything and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so while the beef is cooking, I'm gonna start shredding the lettuce and I have some containers here. I'm gonna shred all of it up and store it in the containers. That way I don't have to do it at all the rest of the week. So just, you know, shred it to the way that you like it. I'll just do it sort of cute like this and then spink it in the bowl like, you know, like that. Okay, so I've done the lettuce and now I'm moving on to the tomato and I'm gonna do the same thing for the tomato that I did for the lettuce. I'm gonna chop them up really small pieces and then store them in a container for the week so that I can literally just pull from it and not have to do any work. Okay, I am done the tomatoes. I'm going to open this can of olives and just dump it into a Tupperware because I like my olives cold. Ugh. Come on, honey, use your muscles. Okay, there we go. Do we keep the juice? Yes, I do. I like to keep the juice all the way till the end. And then, um, you know, as it gets lower, I dump a little out. But oh yeah, the tomatoes are done too. Yes, the tomatoes are done. That's done. Now what I'm gonna do is um, start on the green onions and put those in a container as well. So I'm just doing little slices of the green onion and I have a little container to plop those into. Okay, so the beef is browned. What I'm gonna do to make it extra lean is drain all the fat. So I got hot water in the sink. I got little oven mitties to protect me from the hot and I'm just gonna dump all of the extra grease out until there's nothing left. And then I'm gonna rinse the rest of the fat off with some water. Okay, it's drained, so now I'm just gonna rinse the meat 
with some water and then drain it until it runs completely clear. And you'll see there's still a lot more fat on there. So get the water as hot as you can when you're rinsing and draining. Yeah, like as you can see, there's still a lot on there. So there we go. I'm gonna keep doing this till the water is completely clear. And then we'll add our taco seasoning into this cute little meat. Okay, we dumped the taco seasoning in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Oh, perfect. So we're gonna put it back on the heat and stir it up until it's completely coated and well mixed in. Until the water's gone. Yep, and the water is gone. Okay, so the onions are done. I've also emptied my carrots into a big Tupperware container with a nice resealable lid and I filled it to the top with water, like enough to cover the carrots. I find that the carrots last way longer doing this and we purposely buy baby carrots because you don't have to clean cut or anything, no prep, just literally pull from it all week. And I like this celery from Costco because literally there's barely nothing to do. I'm just gonna cut these up into celery sticks and toss it in here and fill it with water just like that because I also find the celery lasts longer that way too. Okay, I'm gonna shred up the cheese into this container and I have the celery all done and sitting in water. And I just want to say one thing that meal prep is one of the biggest reasons why I was able to keep the weight off and will lose it and keep it off for so long. Same with Sassy, he's lost the same amount as me because when I didn't have meals prepped on my journey and I was hungry, I would end up overeating and go way off track. So having something super simple, easy and tasty like tacos already prepped and ready to go on hand really helps set me up for success every day and that's why I've been able to do it for so long. And if you would like to know more exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, I do have weight loss eBooks. Links are down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have HTLT sucks and they have amazing protein powder and these are my favorite protein bars. They're the Seco Bar Plus. The Dirty Cookies and Cream and the Caramel Toffee Crunch. They're both super good. They taste like a chocolate bar but with less sugar and more protein. Code Nicole will save you 10% on that. So let's be shredder like Ninja Turtles. And we love the mini shreds of cheese because it goes a lot further. Yeah, and that's what I was saying in the beginning, like anything to sort of trick us into feeling like we're getting more or feeling full. And you know, it might take a little longer to shred the mini shreds, but once it's done, it's done for the whole week and it feels like you're getting a lot of cheese. Okay, I am chopping up the straws. I rinsed them off and what do you call that? de hauled them or whatever. And I'm just slicing the rest. The beef is ready to go and in containers and the cheese is all shredded and in a container too. And once this is done, I'm gonna show you how I put my taco together, exact portions and stuff and exact measurements for my sides. <laughs> Okay, so the meal prep is done. This is how I'm going to be eating it and serving it for a meal. I've got three ounces of baby carrots, four celery sticks, and half a tablespoon of that Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. Now I've got one of those tortillas on a plate and I'm just going to weigh out 2.15 ounces of the beef. And then I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of lettuce, put that down in there. About a tablespoon of tomatoes there. And then about a tablespoon of the green onion. Put that down in here. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of black olives. So let's go like that. And then we wanna do two tablespoons of salsa, 30 grams of shredded cheese. Okay, 30 grams of cheese. And then I'm going to do two tablespoons of the sour cream. And then I'm going to put some peppers and I want to do ounces. And I'm gonna do about half an ounce. 
fingers in the jar. Perfect. Oh, right on. Okay, so that is going to be my taco. And as you can see, like it's huge. It's super filling. This is my dinner. And calorie wise, the whole thing for the sides and everything you see here, 548 calories, 25 grams of fat, 46 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. And I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm gonna make my experimental dessert. Stay tuned, cutie. <laughs> okay, so the experimental dessert I'm making, protein fudge sickles. Like I said, never made them before. So we're about to go on a mission, a journey together. What you're gonna need is some Fair Life, the chocolate shake, the 30 grams of protein. We got these from Costco. We need some fat-free chocolate pudding. In Canada, it's also sugar-free. It doesn't say that on the front. And then a scoop of whatever protein, chocolate, whatever you like. I'm going to be using the s'mores protein from Huddled. So I'm going to pour three cups of milk, of the Fair Life milk shaky thing. That seems fair. <laughs> Life. So three cups. And also I forgot to say you need a, um, a popsicle mold of some sort. And that one I just got literally from the dollar store. My goal is to make six of them. So we'll see if, uh, if it makes less or more or whatever. And if you guys have never had this. Oh it, my gosh. Just to drink by itself is amazing. And we're not sponsored, just it's amazing. No, it's, um, but literally it tastes like chocolate milk. like the kind of drink as a kid. So you need just a little over two of bottles. And then I'm going to whisk in a full package of the chocolate pudding and a scoop of protein. Like that. And then whisk it until it's really well combined. I like to do it in a big mixing cup like this because I find the little, what do you call that? The pour thingy? Um, it helps pour things into small things good. <laughs> the technical term is the pour thingy. Yes. I'm very technical and professional. So we'll just use a little muscular power here. Whisk it in good. Yeah. She's turning out so cute here. Wow, does that ever smell good? So I'm just gonna fill them, not all the way to the top because like when they freeze it might over pour, but you know, close enough. And then we'll see, this might actually make more than six. I might have to just drink the rest. Or I have a backup set of popsicle molds. Or that, yeah. If you wanna not have fun. Oh, I have fun every moment, bud. <laughs> hey, this is turning out pretty good. So actually I am going to need some more popsicle molds, so I will grab those. So it, I'm thinking it'll maybe fill one of these up here. And these are also from the dollar store. They just, they didn't have the same. So I just bought different ones. This should fill up another one. Wow, so it's making eight. Wow, this is gonna be really lower calorie than I thought. Great. Yeah. That works, get more. Yeah, okay. Um, I kind of made a bit of a mess. <laughs> Lick this. Okay, so we got the lids on that, and we'll lid these cuties up here. Wait, did I put them in right? Yeah, I did. Is there a right one? Well, I, I think this little splinkly thingy goes in. And then, the, yeah, I thought I put it upside down. <laughs> these are going in the freezer for 24 hours, and then tomorrow, when they're frozen, we're gonna test them out and show you the straws on the side, let you know what we think, tell you the chaos. The fudgicles have been in the freezer for 24 hours. I've got these sitting out and I ran the other ones under warm water for about 30 seconds. So they popped out. This is what they look like. They look really nice actually. And then this is the one cup of strawberries that I'm gonna be serving on the side. I just wanna, I'm gonna do a taste test, but I'm gonna tell you per fudgicle, it makes eight. It's 74 calories, 0.8 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So my cute sassy and I, we're gonna try these on camera together. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. They're really fudgy. 
And there's three layers of chocolate, like the protein powder, the fair life, and the pudding. Mmm. Wow! We let them sit out while we ate so that they got fudgy. If you don't let them sit out for a bit, they might be icy. So let them sit. Wow! Really chocolatey. Yeah. Amazing! Good job. Thanks! You gotta make these. Mm. So the friends, I hope you enjoyed the meal prep then. Let me know if you make the fudgicles and the tacos and what you think of them. Don't forget to watch this vid and this vid for more sustainable weight loss tips on how to love your food and love life and just enjoy weight loss instead of making it a punishment. And remember, having tasty meals that you love that are easy to prep on hand is really great for setting yourself up for success. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next vid. Kill ta ru me. Peace. Yeah. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it.